about a year ago, I completely stopped eating vegetables, not because I thought they were really bad for you or I had anything against them, uh, but I just wanted to simplify my diet. And all I wanted was protein, something tasty, something simple, easy to make. Uh, so I just ate meat, like shitloads of meat. I just, instead of making all these elaborate meal prep meals with like these fancy recipes with a bunch of vegetables, sauces, seasonings, like carbs, meat, I just made meat. It just made my life so much simpler. I didn't really do that with the intention of like, I didn't know the whole movement behind this whole carnivore trend kind of thing. I just did it because it was easy. And as a result, I actually felt really good, felt 10 out of 10 energy, um, physique was good, mental clarity, everything, um, really stable energy. And so after a while of doing that, I did some more research into the carnivore slash animal-based diet. And I realized that you don't actually need any nutrients from veggies. You can get all the nutrients you need to survive and thrive from meats and fruits. So that's pretty much how I've been eating recently, just animal products and some fruit here and there. And it's great, you know, I enjoy every single meal. I look forward to every meal. There are no yucky veggies that I have to force into my diet. Um, I feel healthy. I feel like I have plenty of nutrients. Shopping and cooking is really fucking simple. I don't have to go to the vegetable section. I just, my shopping list is usually really fucking short. Um, just grab a few animal products, grab some fruit, done, easy done. Like normal people are always complaining about having to cook every night. Like it sounds like some massive task, but when you eat like this, it's like, it literally takes me like five minutes to cook a steak and I'm done. Anyways, so why don't we actually need veggies then? Well, veggies are actually a very poor source of nutrients. So most dark leaf, leafy green vegetables only have like five to 10% bioavailability. Bioavailability means uh, the ability of your body to absorb the nutrients inside that food. Which So essentially you're getting like less than 10% of the nutrients in the food. And the reason for that is because of what we call anti-nutrients. So veggies have a lot of anti-nutrients. What anti-nutrients do are they bind to the nutrients that you want to absorb and they make them unusable for the human body. So you're essentially just eating a bunch of garbage for no reason. Compared to animal products or fruit, which have extremely high levels of bioavailability, it is very easy for your body to absorb nutrients from those kinds of foods. And the reason veggies have these anti-nutrients is because this is their defense mechanism. So since veggies can't run or walk or fight back, um, they, they don't want to be eaten. And so their way of defending themselves is to create these defense chemicals, which are the anti-nutrients. And so that way they are stopping potential predators from trying to eat them so they can stay alive. Compared to like a cow or a chicken that can just run away. They don't need to release defense chemicals. And I feel like instinctually, we know we don't really like vegetables. Like there is this notion that we need to eat our vegetables and everyone feels forced to eat their veggies. Like look at kids, for example, kids show it best. Like all kids are universally, absolutely disgusted by veggies. Like you really have to fucking force them to eat veggies. And that really just shows the human body's relationship with veggies because kids are more pure than adults. Uh, they've been less brainwashed um, and less, less programmed into believing that we need veggies. Like I'm sure even now when you walk into a grocery store and you go to the vegetable section, it's not really appetizing. You don't look at the veggies like, oh, fuck, I'm craving some fucking capsicum or... Um, you know, I really want some tomatoes. Like, I don't know. I definitely don't feel that way. But when it comes to meat or eggs or dairy or fruit, vibrant, colorful, ripe fruit, I feel like we know that we should eat these things. They are asking to be eaten. We naturally crave them. And the other thing with veggies is if they're so good for us 
and we're meant to eat them. Why do we need to cook them in such fancy ways and add a bunch of seasonings and sauces and all that crap just to make them palatable? Like, wouldn't it make sense that if this thing was really good for us, we could just eat it and really crave it? It makes sense that if we really needed something, it would taste good for us because it tasting good is a mechanism for our body to understand that, yes, this thing is good, keep eating it because it will keep us alive. So one common misconception about not eating veggies is the lack of fiber. But needing fiber in your diet is actually one of the biggest myths of all time. You actually don't need any fiber at all. Uh, the human body can survive perfectly fine without any fiber. Yes, you will still take shits, you will still go to the toilet, you will not be constipated. Everything will be perfectly fine, you do not need to worry and panic about fiber. In fact, there are many studies where um, research institutes will take groups of people, um, completely get rid of fiber in their diet, and in fact, a lot of their gut health actually improves. Um, there's less bloating, less constipation. Uh, so don't believe the myth that you need fiber. You, you can try it out for yourself. Just experiment for 30 days, 60 days, whatever you want, with no vegetables and see how you feel. Just eat meat, eggs, dairy, fruit, uh, and see how you feel. So a common question is why is fruit okay but not vegetables? Well, fruit is part of the plant, but the fruit is the least toxic part of the plant. Whereas usually like the leaves and the stems, that's like the vegetable part of the plant. Um, fruit is the least toxic part of the plant. It has the least anti-nutrients. So it's not going to stop you from absorbing the nutrients inside the fruit. And fruits want to be eaten. The way for fruits to spread is um, for them to be eaten so that their seed can be spread. And the more ripe and the more sweet a fruit is, the, more, the less anti-nutrients it has. Plus the body knows that it wants fruit. Like we instinctually crave fruit. It's easy for humans to see fruit and see that as a source of nutrition and it's very appetizing to eat. So it, it makes sense for us to want to eat fruit. So yeah, give it a go. Try out no veg for an extended period of time. Life will be simpler, easier, cheaper and you'll feel healthier and look better. So, yeah.